they're saying what they think about the Lord and about their church and, and saying that they love their church family. That's a blessing. Amen. 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 That's so exciting. Amen. Amen. Well, they wasn't scheduled to sing this morning. They were scheduled last Sunday to go out. I didn't want them to miss that opportunity. They've been practicing. Uh, Amanda was uh, scheduled to sing this morning. And I had to do that to her. To sing, you fine? You sure? You sure? I, I wouldn't want to follow that either. I wouldn't want to follow that either. That was good. Amen. Anybody got any testimony here this morning? Yeah, I have. Go ahead. I always thank the Lord for guiding me. I know I'm old and wore out, but He gives me the courage to come on. Last week we didn't have power. The week before I was sick, I couldn't walk. But I will be here every single Sunday that I can. I would be here every day that the door opens if we're going to live so far away. But God at least blessed us to, you know, to serve the church as little as we do <coughs> one day a week. And I appreciate it and I love all you people. You love Amen. Too, you love you too, too, bro. I just want to thank God for the blessings. I didn't realize how blessed I was with Todd come home last night after what I see down there. Come home, you know, my, my family and all my possessions is safe and sound and where they were supposed to be. It's, it's a blessing to know that now. I and mean, I took all that for granted until I seen what I seen yesterday. That's right. Amen. 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 I mean, how many of y'all see Brother Dennis on Facebook? Yeah. Amen. That's it. That's his preaching platform right there. Amen. He does good. Anybody else here this morning? I want to thank the Lord for saving me and for putting me where I am here. Amen. I know we, we struggle at times with things and just, just like the mission work we did yesterday going down there. We received our blessing this morning. For Amen. Amen. That work. So it, it's touching. It really is. You know, sometimes we struggle, and, and mm -hmm. sometimes it's hard. We all live our daily fight, but God gives us signs and, and, and blessings yeah. of, of what we're doing is the right thing. So uh, I know it'd be nice if some of the bigger churches would do a whole lot more than we can do, but we do all we can. Amen. And that's and God gives us our blessing. So. Amen. Let's keep on the, on the right path and do all that the Lord has put forth for us to do, and we continue our blessings. And then our, our church, our, our youth ministry growing is the biggest blessing we could ever get. That's right. It really is. So, uh, thank you all. I love you all, and uh, thank you all for for everything we do. It, it's a blessing to me. It keeps me going every day, every week. If it wasn't for this, I would have failed a long time ago. Amen. Amen. Preacher, I'd like to say one thing. You know, our little church, it proves that little it's much when God is in it. Amen. 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 I'd like to I'm thankful that this place is here that I gave me when I was in a bad way. And if it wasn't for this church being here, there's no telling where I'd be. There's a love in this church. Man. Pure love. I've been in many churches, and many chapels, but there's an honest to God fellowship, beautiful people here. And you gotta cherish what you got. Because like Scott said, it can all be gone in an instant. I mean, you don't got much, but to what, you know what you got now is like having Donald Trump money compared to what they got, they ain't got nothing. I'm not trying to be funny, crack a joke, but we're all living paycheck to paycheck, and we worked hard for the little stuff we have. And I thank God that I found this place, because it set me on a good track of where I need to be. And, uh, you know, it, this place is a meaningful purpose that touches a lot of people in different ways. 
And little, it's like the little choo-choo that can't go up the mountain. With a little choo-choo, we do a lot for a lot of people that appreciate them. We ain't got a big, no, no big mega church, high overhead rock concert style service. What we do here is pure Holy Ghost, power of Jesus being here. There's a spirit running wild in here. Amen. 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 Making people be together joyful and be happy together. If it wasn't for this place, it'd be a lot of lost souls. Amen. 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 First service that Brother Kurt ever came to here was a service just like this one. Yep. And uh, he's right, he was in a, in a very bad place at that time. But the Lord turned everything completely around for him. Now he's one of our, our uh, we, we should support him as a missionary because he takes the gospel tracts and uh, John and Roman's books literally, literally all over the country for us. Amen. And that's a blessing to see what the Lord's done in his life and he's continued to come back back and forth so much and, and be a part of our church. Amen. Amen. My calling, I guess, due to trucking ministry. Amen. Preacher Mike, I'd like to say I love the Lord and I thank the Lord for bringing me to where I'm at. And I sympathize with these people in these floods and all. I mean, I've not been in floods, but I've seen several of them before and seen the environments that people had to live in and stuff and all through it. And I like to say and, and hope and pray that all the friends I've got in racing and everything else and all that I'm going to reach out to this week and all, I hope that we can, I hope that I can feel a truck myself. Yeah, really. All the friends i got in racing and everything I should be able to. You'll probably have to take another trip next week. We'll do it. We'll do it. But anyway, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get out and all this pray the Lord give me the... <coughs> Chance to go on and do it because I mean some some days I'm not able to get out and go, but the days I'm able to get out and go, I go out and I talk to people about the Lord and all, so I get people to come to church and everything and and do other things and all when I can and work when I can and and uh, but y'all just pray for me that I'll be able to do what the Lord had me to do and just pray that everybody will be generous and everything from the racetrack and everything and see how much stuff we can bring in and all to our friends and Facebook and everything else and all. Mm -hmm. They fill the church full of food. Amen. 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 But, uh, just pray for me that I'll ever do the Lord's will. Amen. 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 I'd like to say thank the Lord for saving my soul. For all the things I've done in my past, I, I got to overcome. He washed my way. Amen. Amen. He's blessed me, he's blessed my family. Mm -hmm. Amen. 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 Anybody else? I like services like this. The real. Amen. The real Amen. service. We're both I just thank God for uh, this church and everything. I've been away um, dealing with the blood. I just kept thinking about back here. And, uh, I'm just glad that I got church to come back to. I mean, it's good. Like you said before, it's been flooded out. It's been not been having church service at all or whatnot could have been lost you know been lost lives so like here but uh being out there just uh like I said like Scott and my other said before just it is an out there um and everything uh, I know uh when we was out there uh there was I was well, my boss squad we were splitting two teams and uh the people that we were uh dealing with uh had us go on the mission and uh to uh to I forgot exactly what, what, what it was, but um, it was we had two trucks and uh lead truck was in was in front and uh, we would go behind them. We were going on a road and uh, around the curve uh, we, they ran into a a, a, a a good amount of water and uh, and uh, just just seeing that truck and knowing your your battle buddies in front of you didn't know what was going on in front. All we know that, that the truck stopped and uh, what we did having a hatch on top of that truck. Uh, no telling if they would have got out because they, they tried to open the door and water started flooding in and everything. And just seeing that right there just made you think about how quick life can be gone and how Amen. 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 people are going through. And, and I got to thinking while I was up there as well, I got to thinking, you know, um, it seemed like that's what God did for me when I was out in high waters and stuck out there. He he, uh, he sent help on the way and they came and, came and got me out of that out of that trouble I was in. 
and everything. So uh, I just thank God for all of the blessings. And uh, another thing, uh, before we left, actually, uh, across the miles, I asked my sergeant, I said, is there any ropes or anything? Because they said there's there no equipment at all. And uh, if it wasn't for us grabbing that rope and them having it on the truck, and they tied it off and throw it out to us and went out there and got them. But I believe it wasn't for that, no telling that some people couldn't swim and, and all and stuff like that. But make you think about life and what well, all many blessings that God has done and brought us through. So Amen. I thank God for this church, thank God for it. Everything, every, every, the small things. I mean, not only the big things, but the small things as well. Amen. You know, uh, like I said, people uh, thank God that my unit was all right, but there was other uh, families out there that lost <coughs> and stuff like that. Like I said before, the inlets couldn't get to them, and that lady died and all. And I just got to my mind, I just kept praying, Lord, Lord, please, Lord, just you know, let the church be all right, let the church family, my family be all right, because. You know, uh, we heard, all, all we had was just what, what, what we heard and things come back this way, stuff like that. And I was like, Lord, just, just please, just, just keep us just keep safe. Because we, I know what's going on there, but not knowing what what, what went on back here was right. another thing. But I was praying for the church, and I just, I was, I was going to pray and witness and other, other, other soldiers and stuff like that. But, uh, but it's definitely, it was definitely an out there. And I'm just glad that everybody's safe. I'm glad that we got church, to come to church this Sunday. And all mm -hmm. that that brought me back safely and kept us safe while we got there. Amen. 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 Anybody else here this morning? I've been puzzled for 50 years, wondering why God would even love somebody like me or the rest of us, as a matter of fact. And I got my prayer answered this morning with those children. Amen. That was beautiful. Amen. And I tell you. Mm. Ain't nothing no better than to watch the youth grow up in church. Amen. 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 Preacher, I want to. I want to say that there's a, a tiny little church over on the other side of town. It's small and number and everything, but they have people in that church over there that's got big hearts, and they're not helping people flood victims. But they're helping so many people around town. They have food offices out and an honor system. And I'm going to tell you, Rick Martin works hard to help them people out. And he never <coughs> says anything about it. And that's one thing that we've got to do is remember not to put I, we, me, or any of us before any of this. It's all God. We're just instruments being used. Amen. Amen. Absolutely. Thank the Lord for bringing all the, the, the kind hearts and the right kind of people together here. Amen. Amen. Absolutely. 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 People from all over. <coughs> I, well, I, I, I about give up on the church. I've gone in the, in the church for a long time in some ministries. Then I backslid for about eight years. And uh, I visited the churches and did a lot of churches big churches and small churches and uh, I just about giving up on it and uh, fellowship and all that and I didn't want to be part of it I don't know when I first got here I, you know but uh, I just want to thank God for still working and doing it Amen. 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 Amen We're glad you're here too Amen Amen, Amen. 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 Man knows how to run a kitchen too. He proved that. Amen. He saw that. Amen. He jacked up knee and all. Well, he worked circles around everybody. He, uh, we just left him. <laughs> he was fun. He's a keeper. Anybody else? This one? Anybody else? It's good. I enjoy this. I'm always the one up here hollering and screaming and spitting and snotting. It's good, it's good to stand here and look out and watch y'all talk and spit and snot and cry. And stuff. Well, you know, this, this softens hearts too. I mean, you know, you know, I'm not ashamed to say I've, I've, I've not been touched as strongly as today for a while. So yes. I, I needed this too. I really did. Uh, you know, we all need our, our spirits softened a little bit and our, our emotions softened and, and to put some tears in the altar. I think it, it, it truly helps us all. So, I needed this today. Thank well, you I brought my wife to church three Sundays and turn around and go back home and come back. <laughs> and I was starting out the that. driveway and the Lord says, back up. I'm back up. Amen. I'm glad you did too. And was in the other building. <laughs> 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 
Yeah. 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 Brother Roger Wood, he'd come and drop, his, drop Lucy off and go back home. They'd come back and pick her up. And he did that for a few Sundays. And I'm glad he finally came in the door. And, and then we ain't been able to get rid of them ever since. We ain't been able to get rid of them. Anybody else here this morning? I got a question. You know, our working with my lady, and well, I had a friend of mine come up there. He said uh, he'd get bread for all the minutes. I couldn't think what that yeah. We're proud of him doing that. This is a good week, folks. This has been a really good week. We, we had good fellowship Wednesday night. Thursday night, the Crossroad Rescue Mission was wonderful. I mean, we had a wonderful service. There's a lot of new men that are there. There's a lot of faces of, uh, that I didn't know. And uh, so it's, you know, every time you go, you almost get to preach to a, a new congregation almost every time. And to, to see, I mean, got, got through preaching and the altar was just slammed full. And there was two that got saved and there was a bunch of people that got assurance, you know, that had questions. And that was a blessing. And then Friday to be able to come down here and load the van up and see how much stuff our church. We had a couple people outside the church. And I'm very thankful for them. We had, <coughs> uh, I mentioned my aunt had, had given some stuff. There was a man in Cherryville uh, that, that I didn't even know who had saw what I had posted. And, uh, and by the way, continue. If y'all will be praying for him, uh, he's had he has knee problems, and uh, and he said things are not looking good. That uh, it could possibly be he could possibly be facing amputation. Mm -hmm. And uh, but he gave he gave several cases of water and a, a, a laundry basket full of, of canned goods. Didn't even know him. I drove the charitable and, and picked the food up. And there was others who you know, a few others who had, who had given. Uh, but the biggest majority of stuff come from the folks here in our church, and I, that blesses my heart when I was down here Friday night and was loading the van up and seeing how much was going in that van. Yeah, I would have loved to have seen it be more, but to know with the size of church that we have and to see the big hearts of the folks within our church and to see everybody excited about wanting to help out even further, Our that blesses my heart. It does. Mm -hmm. And then to come here this morning and hear these kids sing and hear these testimonies, God's good. Amen. 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 God's good. All the time. All the time. God is good. Amen. Yes, sir. Um, Faith tells me all the time on how well behaved the kids are in this church. She's seen other churches where they run buck wild. Oh, yeah. There's a purpose for this church being here. And God is alive and well in this church. Amen. Amen. This is the only church I've been to where I've seen people from different backgrounds come together as one to serve the Lord. And I'm so thankful that this place was here. Amen. Amen. Uh, that, that Sunday I could have stayed out at the Flying J, but God told me come here and go visit across the street. I got a purpose for you. Amen. Right. Amen. Amen. I'm glad. You know what? I'm glad. You know, we could. A lot of churches, I, let me say that a lot of churches, if they were in a storefront building like this, they would be, you know, Jealous mm -hmm. over other churches have finer facilities, and, and would I love for it to, to have more room and have a bigger fellowship hall? Absolutely, but I'm gonna tell you, I'm I'm content being right here. Yeah. Yeah. That's the reason I went right right? across that right? I didn't want everybody stopping moving gas. I'm glad we're right here. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, we wouldn't be able to do the truckers ministry and a lot of people that we've met. Over the years, we wouldn't have met them, wouldn't be able to do the things we do, and you know, right. able to do if we was anywhere else. And so I'm very thankful for the Lord putting us here. A lot of your people come in here for a couple of Sundays. They wouldn't don't want to leave. Exactly right. I don't think they would. I want to share something with y'all here. This was the message. I'm not gonna not gonna preach it, but it goes it goes along with the song, it goes along with all the testimonies and everything everything we've been discussing here, and it goes hand in hand with John's what Sunday school lesson he tried to have this morning that we couldn't even have Sunday school this morning because of talking about wanting to help people. Uh, if you got your Bibles, you can turn there with me. Uh, i got two verses I want to read. One's in Matthew. Matthew chapter 7, verse 12. He said, I'm not going to preach. I don't want to. There's no sense. There's nothing else that I can really say that hasn't already been said. I just want to share the Scripture with you here because it goes right along with that. This, is, this to me is proof that God is in Exactly in this service again. 
and approves of what we're what we're trying to do to help others and to lift him up because this is what the Lord had given me for today. Matthew chapter seven verse twelve. The Bible says, Therefore all things whatsoever ye would that men should do to you, do ye even so to them. For this is the law and the prophets. This is what we refer to as the golden rule. Mm -hmm. Do unto others as you have them do unto you. You know, that was one of the things that, that we had said to that pastor down there, uh, Rodney Cox was his name, the pastor at Sunrise Baptist Church down in Southport, was he kept thanking us and kept thanking us. And we, you know, we told him, Brother, if it were us, we would hope that somebody would do the same for us. Amen. 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 And so, that's the way the, way the Christian ought to think. I mean, the title of my message this morning was going to be Christian character. That ought to be Amen. the character of a Christian. Amen. Amen. That ought to be our Amen. mindset is, you know, instead of waiting Amen. and expecting people to do for us, why don't we always be on, on the lookout to do something to be a blessing to others? Amen. And I believe this with all my heart. We do that, and when the time comes for us, God will honor that. He'll send somebody by our way to help and bless us. Let me read that again, Matthew 7, 12. Therefore all things whatsoever ye would that men should do to you, do ye even so to them. For this is the law of the prophets. And then the other one I have is Ephesians chapter 4. Ephesians chapter 4, verse 32. And be ye kind one to another, tender hearted, forgiving one another. Amen. Even as God, for Christ's sake, hath forgiven you. Amen? Amen. Amen. And I had three points off of that. It was be ye kind. What does that mean? Be cordial. Be pleasant. You know, we, we live in a uh, day and age where uh, people are not kind. Dog eat dog. They're not pleasant. Uh, Christian people are not pleasant to be around a lot of times. You know? And that's, that's not how we're supposed to be. It says be ye kind. We're to be kind to one another. I mean, I enjoyed that yesterday when we got down there yeah. and that pastor and the way those folks treated us they they had all right to be upset to be in a bad mood to be down in the dumps to be depressed mm -hmm. and they were the total opposite that to me was yeah. a testimony to that pastor and to that church and what they stand on was a testimony for the lord jesus christ amen and it says be tender-hearted it means to be compassionate I man compassion is gone in this society today Amen. They don't care about other people. They only care about themselves. Right. And I'm glad to be a part of a church that shows compassion. Amen. It has a tender heart. And folks, we right. Lord, pray to God every yeah. day for this, the Lord for the Lord to keep us in a place where right. we have a tender Amen. heart. Because Amen. Yes. I'm telling you <clears throat> what they're facing down there, <clears throat> what we saw in Lumberton, could have very easily been here too. <clears throat> we're, we're in between what two river basins here. The Catawba River, the Broad River, we sit right in between it. We got a big lake right out here. There's ponds and streams everywhere. That's right. And had that storm done exactly what they had originally said it was going to do, mm -hmm. that would have been us. Right. And so we want to be thankful to God that He watched us and protect us. And at the same time, realizing that, be tender hearted <coughs> towards the folks who are suffering. That's right. And part of being tender hearted is not just feeling sorry for somebody, but doing Man. something about it. Then it says, forgiven. And be kind one to another, tender hearted, forgiven one another, even as God, for Christ's sake, hath forgiven you. What does that mean? So we can't just look at the forgiven part there. Even It says, that forgiving one another, even as God, for Christ's sake, hath forgiven you. We ought to be kind, be tender hearted, we ought to be forgiven, and we ought to forgive the way that Christ forgives. And what does that mean? It means to wipe the slate clean. We start anew. Yeah. That's, right. That's what Jesus did for us. Right. Yeah. Right. Right. He wiped the slate clean. You just imagine what we did to the Lord. What what somebody has done to you, or whatever you've done to somebody else, can't even right. begin to compare to what we've done to the Lord Jesus yeah. Christ. And Amen. Jesus was willing to wipe the slate clean mm -hmm. and give us a brand new start. And that's Amen. where we ought to be with others. I mean, I, you know, I'm sure you could do the same thing. But I can sit here right now and I can probably, I, I can list, I know, not probably, I can list for you times in my life that I know that I was done wrong. And I'm sure everybody here this morning, you can do the same thing. But we ought to be able to do what the Bible says here, forgiving one another, even as God, for Christ's sake, hath forgiven you. We ought to be willing to wipe the slate clean and start anew. Those in my life that I felt like have done me wrong, we were to come together, and it's my responsibility 
as a Christian to be willing to wipe the slate clean Amen. and start anew. Amen. I can't make people do that. And if I've done somebody wrong, I ought to be man enough to be able to go to them and say, I'm sorry. And can we wipe this slate clean and start anew? Amen. That's that to me, those three things, that's Christian character right there. That's exactly what the way the Lord would have us to be. To be kind, to be tender hearted, and to forgive one another the way the way that God for Christ's sake has forgiven us. Amen. Amen. I think everybody's hearts are tender and soft here this morning. Let's Amen. do everything we can to pray Amen. and seek God and keep it that way. And I'm telling you, we'll never go wrong trying to help others. Amen. 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 We'll win more people to the Lord by trying to be a help and a blessing to them. Amen. Extending that help. Amen. I'm all for getting up behind the pulpit and I'm all for hard preaching. But there's something about that tenderness going to somebody and trying to help them. Tell you, it, it pierces the heart. It does. And it speaks to them. And so this is the kind of character we need to have about us. And I'm telling you, I like what I've been hearing, I like what I see here this morning. Let's pray for our church. Amen. 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 I think this is exactly what we needed, getting ready to go into our homecoming and all these things we've got for the for the fall. We've got a lot more things planned. Uh, I'll tell you this, and then we'll we'll pray we'll be dismissed. Where the food drive has been slow. Uh, and we want to make sure we get it into the hands of people who need it. And uh, we've we've set up down here, and not many people come by <coughs> like we thought they would, being in the area that we're in. So we decided we'll set up on Franklin Boulevard, thinking people will come by. And we have a couple people that come by, but not like we was anticipating. And I don't want to bring supplies in and them sit here. So once we're through helping the flood victims out, you say, Preacher, you're asking an awful lot out of us. Let's keep that tender heart as you. Mm -hmm. The group of people I'm fixing to mention were one paycheck away from being in their boat. Yes. And once we get this the, the flood mm -hmm. the flood victims out of the way, we're gonna hold off on the food drive until December the first, the first Saturday in December. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna combine some things in December so that uh, we're not taking up every weekend in December. The plan is we're gonna go to Shelby and near the courthouse up near Lafayette, there is I'm assuming there's a place where they feed the less fortunate. That's what Nikita called, likes, likes to call those folks. Instead of homeless, they're less fortunate. That's what they are. They are less fortunate than we are. There's a place where they can go and then get fed. We're going to be right there in that area. And once we get through helping the flood victims out, we're going to start trying to take in supplies of shampoos, little shampoo bottles. If you travel or anything like that, save all that up. But any kind of toiletries like that, pop top cans, so we don't have to worry about can openers. Uh, coats, socks, Clark's got us covered on socks, I think. <laughs> uh, but coats, socks, gloves, things like that. We're going to start bringing those in. And on December the 1st, the plan is we're going to go up there, probably around lunchtime, go up there, we're going to set up, we're going to do our Christmas carol in there. Instead of loading up, driving around different houses, we're going to just go to Christmas carol. The old fashioned way up in the court, courtyard square there. We're going to sing our Christmas carols. We'll sing church songs and Christmas carols. We're going to hand out the bags to the less fortunate as they come by, give them gospel tracks, maybe fire up the grill and cook some hot dogs and give out hot dogs and just make a whole day of it up there and really help some people who really need it. And uh, they know firsthand, they know that there is a large uh, population of less fortunate people uh, that, that do their home is on the streets there in Shelby. Wouldn't know it, but they know the areas and there's a lot of them. And uh, we've tried helping folks out in our area that may be in need. And, uh, but I think it's time to turn our attention towards some people we know that absolutely need it. So I'm looking forward to that. Me and Daz discussed that. And uh, maybe we even start doing this, maybe making it a, a every quarter thing to stock it up for a couple months and then go and give this stuff out. And I know there's some areas in Gastonia, so we may go back and forth between Shelby and Gastonia. Maybe Brother Titus knows some areas over in Charlotte. <coughs> He said, maybe we can go up towards Charlotte and do this too. And so I'm excited about this. This is what the Amen. church is about. Amen. This is what the, the church should be. Amen. 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 A lot of people, their mindset is church is you go, you put on your fine, fancy clothes, <laughs> you say hi, you, you make you, you put on a scene, the preacher gets up, says a few words, you say amen, you leave and you go eat chicken. Yep. That's what people have in mind for, for church, and I'm ready to go eat chicken. <laughs> uh, so I'm gonna shut up, but <laughs> This is what church is supposed to be. Amen. Amen. And I'm very proud to be a part of a church 
church family that wants to do these things. Amen. 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 Let's make sure we keep it that way. Amen. Put God first. We put God first, it'll be that way. Amen. Amen. All right, let's pray and we'll be dismissed. Our dear and gracious Heavenly Father, Lord, we thank you for this day. Thank you for your blessings. Thank you, Lord, for the, the good time we've had here today. Thank you, Lord, for the sweet spirit, Lord, that's been here. Thank you, Lord, for how you've touched our hearts. God, I thank you, Lord, for this, this good group of young people we have and them willing to stand up and sing and testify and, and share with us the things that's on their hearts, Lord. It's a blessing to see how you're raising our young people up. Thank you for a church that supports the young people, encourages the young people, and wants them to grow and to move forward for you. Thank you, Lord, for the opportunity we had, Lord, yesterday, our, our church family. Not just not just the three of us that went down, but the whole church that took part in this and, and an opportunity there to help even more people. <clears throat> God, I pray, Lord, that you just continue to give us those opportunities that we can be a help and a blessing to you. Lord, we just talked about this, Lord, in, in our verse-by-verse -verse studies about being addicted to the ministry, and it was about giving <coughs> charity, giving to the saints, giving to the needs of others. And God, I pray that our church get addicted to that. Lord, we get addicted to... to given to the needs of others, and in that way we can also lift you up. So God, I pray that you just continue to touch our church. Bless us, use us for your honor and for your glory, Lord, please. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. 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 God bless y'all. We're dismissed. And I can encourage you to come back tonight for service tonight at 6 o'clock. <laughs> I ain't full of them, but I could. Where's Scott? He went in the bathroom. Excuse me, Curtis. Yeah, he went in the bathroom. 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 Good job. I did. I still know where I'm at. Yeah, yeah. I'm good. 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 I'm good.